Welcome back to Leftovers with Annie. I am your host, Annie. Remember, each week I am going to get a mystery product in this bag that I need to figure out how to use at my home. And don't forget, click that subscribe button so you're not missing out on any of these projects. Let's see what's in the bag this week. Min Wax Gel Stain in the color coffee. Now, the benefit to using gel stain versus regular stain is it is thicker and it eliminates some of the mess and it's so much easier to use. Let me let you in on a little secret. Sometimes I curbside chop. I know some of you call it garbage picking, but I like to call it curbside chopping. And I just picked up a piece that I would love to use this gel stain for. I think it would make it a complete transformation of this piece and I cannot wait to try it out. All right, let's get to staining. If your piece has a gloss or varnish to it, you're gonna wanna use this product first to strip down that varnish to the real wood grain. My piece doesn't have that, so I can put this aside and I can jump right into the wood conditioner. The reason I wanna use wood conditioner is it helps protect the wood, and when I put the gel stain on, it doesn't give it the blotchiness look. Let's go ahead and get started and grab our supplies. We're gonna start on the top of the piece and then work our way down. The first thing we're gonna do to kick off this project is grab our sanding block or sanding paper around medium grit that's around 220 as well as our cotton cloth. And what we're gonna do is sand our table down and clean it using smooth strokes and not applying too much of the wood conditioner. The brush I'm using is a natural bristle brush and you wanna make sure you go with the grain when you're putting on this wood conditioner. It's always important then also to go back over and make sure you're not leaving any excess wood conditioner on the piece. We've applied the wood conditioner and we want to wait up to 15 minutes. And we are going to wipe the piece down in case there's any extra wood conditioner left on the piece. Let's grab our stain. We want to make sure that we never shake stain. We only want to stir it. This will eliminate any of the bubbles. As you apply the gel stain, you're going to want to use a natural bristle brush. If you leave it on longer, you're going to get a darker, richer color. When you apply this, you're going to want to make sure you go with the wood grain. And when you're working with stain, you should always make sure that you have a well-ventilated area. After five or 10 minutes, you're gonna take a new clean cloth and you're going to wipe off the extra stain. When you're wiping it off, you wanna make sure you wipe in the direction of the wood grain. I waited eight hours and the piece looks good, but I still think I want something that's a little more richer and warmer. So I'm gonna apply one more coat. Just as before, we wanna make sure that we apply the second coat of stain along the wood grain. My second coat of gel stain is now dry. My last step is to put on this top clear coat. This will help protect the piece from everyday wear and tear. The coffee color really refreshes this table. With a little bit of work, we turn this curbside piece into something stunning. Those people that threw away that piece would be so jealous. If you thought that project was cool, keep watching and you'll learn how to do an accent wall using a kitchen sponge. I'd love to see how you transformed a piece using gel stain. And make sure you tag us. Use the hashtag TheHelpfulPlace. Thank you for watching and see you next week for some more Leftovers with Annie.